How to Unlock the Maghar Orc, a new playable allied race coming in Battle for Azeroth. Today we'll cover how to unlock the Maghar Orc, Classes, Heritage Armor, Mounts, and Customization Options. Now, If you want to fill your pockets with gold, be an expert in any profession, and dominate the Battle for Azeroth. Hammer that subscribe button now and slam that bell icon for instant updates. The Maghar Orc are from an alternate universe of Draenor. Their war chief is Grom Hellscreen, who famously refused to drink the blood of Manoroth in Warlords of Draenor. Now, in order to unlock the Maghar Orc, you must have Battle for Azeroth, <clears throat> must be 120, and complete the AU Gorgrond scenario. Also, if you're wanting to create a Maghar Orc on a new server, you have to have a level 110 character on that server before you can do so. The only class that we're sure of right now is the Shaman. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at the cool totems that we have coming ahead. Next, let's take a look at the Heritage Armor for the Maghar Orc. Now, though Blizzard's not really given us a lot of specifics as to how to obtain the Maghar Orc Heritage Armor, I'm willing to bet it'll be the same way that we currently unlock the armor sets for the allied races that we have access to today. Start at level 20 and go from 20 up to 110 or possibly 120 without boosting your character. Here on the screen we see pictures of the heritage armor for the Maghar Orc. They look totally awesome, I think. Now, as far as mounts, we currently only know of one mount for the Maghar Orc, and that is the Dire Wolf. Now, the Maghar Orc resembles all of the uncorrupted tribes from the alternate universe of Draenor. And recently, Ian Hezekostas spoke on the Maghar Orc, and even though many players seem to think that the Maghar Orcs are from the Burning Crusade Outlands version, it would seem that Blizzard does not agree. Ian Hezekosta stated in a recent Q&A that the Maghar Orc would be better classified as a red or brown orc. Now let's take a look at the customization options that we'll be having for the male Maghar Orc Definitely, we're going to have a lot of awesome ways to customize your male character, but let's not forget about the female Maghar Orc. Let's take a look. Now, having just seen all of these fantastic options that we're going to be given in Battle for Azeroth for customization of your Maghar Orc, I'm looking forward to creating my own Maghar Orc. It's a race that I've always found interesting and it's going to be different to actually be able to play a Maghar Orc, which has been in the game for some time. Now, recently I've been hearing some of the player base say that 
they would like to see the future customization go in the direction of what, for example, The Sims gives players. You're able to customize your hair, your eyes, your eye color, your your height, your weight, many other customizations, plus, of course, what we have now. Now, I think this would be an awesome thing to see. I think it would be cool to see this type of customization options added to the game. But, to be honest, I don't think it will ever really happen. Because Blizzard has always been more focused on what we can go out and do rather than what your character looks like when you do it. Now, are you looking forward to playing as a Magheart Orc? Will you play as a male or a female Orc? Let me know in the comment section below. For now, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you've not already, and as always, have a great day.